Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a Golden Delicious cocktail, and that's actually the name, Golden Delicious. Now, having said that, it was created by David Miller, and it was at a place called The Market Table, which is all about taking food from the farm to the table. So harvest time is absolutely one of those things that this cocktail embodies. And that's great because you know what? I like fall, it's one of my favorite times of the year. There's no bugs, the colors are fantastic on the leaves, and the cocktails are freaking awesome. Anyways, it's a shaken cocktail, and we're going to start this with a little bit of lemon juice. So grab yourself a lemon, give it a bit of a roll. So what we'll do is we'll cut this in half and measure three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils and pour that into the glass. Your second ingredient is going to be maple syrup. Now in this case, some people will tell you to use class A or class B, uh, depending upon what you can get. And really truth be told, just use your favorite maple syrup because it'll give you the best cocktail. Now you don't need a lot for this. We need a third of an ounce, which works out to 10 mils. Your third ingredient is an allspice dram. Now I'm using a homemade allspice dram supplied to me by my friend Rob, Rob's Home Bar. Now he's got, uh, of course, his fantastic sticker. He does this for me every once in a while just so I can do this. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Now if you have something called a pimento dram, it's exactly the same thing because the allspice berries come from the pimento dream. And we're going to use half an ounce or 15 mils. Your third ingredient starts with our liqueurs. In this case, we're going to use an apricot liqueur. I'm going to use Hexet's Barak. It's a fantastic 43% ABV apricot liqueur and it's got a bit of kick to it, but we don't need a lot. We're going to use half an ounce or 15 mils. Your next ingredient is a little bit of cognac. Now I'm using some Coivossier. Um, if you don't have cognac, you can use brandy. It'll work perfectly fine. It'll work perfectly fine in this if you can actually open the bottle, unlike me. But we're going to use again a half an ounce or 15 mils. Our next spirit is Applejack. Now this will give us the great flavors of apple and a little bit of sweetness that goes along with this. Now we need a little bit more of this. We need a total of one ounce or 30 mils. Our next step in the process is to shake this with some ice. So you want to make sure that you fill the glass all the way with a good solid chunk of ice. Um, oops. Make sure, as I said, you fill it up all the way, but you don't want it overhanging the glass. So what you want to do, make sure you slap that on there, give it a good seat, flip it, shake it with a smile. And you want to shake that for a good eight to 10 seconds while you have a heart attack here because you're shaking it so hard. Then you want to pop that off with the strength of a thousand apples, put it off to the side and grab yourself some delicate fancy glass like a coupe. Now you can use whatever you want. In fact, this would also be great in a rocks glass over some ice, but I am going to fine strain it to keep out any ice crystals or uh, lemon pulp. Oh yeah, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. This is definitely gold, but is it delicious? Let's find it. So immediately I get a little bit of maple syrup and a little bit of apple. Yeah, it's delicious. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah. Um, you got that great apple flavor, a little bit of brown sugar. You have a bit of the pimento dram or the allspice dram, I should say, floating in amongst there. It doesn't overpower anything. This is a gorgeous cocktail. If you like fantastic autumn cocktails and fall cocktails and things to do with, the, you know, getting close to the end of the year, take a look after the recipe card right here.